In this video, we are going to discuss Bresenham's line drawing algorithm example 1. So, look at this particular example and we shall show you that how this Bresenham's line drawing algorithm can actually be applied. Here we are going to solve one algorithm, one problem using Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. So, draw a straight line from 35, 40 to 43, 45. So, co n coordinates are given and we are supposed to draw one line uh, using Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. m is equal to delta y by delta x. And here we have written one summary table that if the value of m is less than 1, then what will be the equation for calculation of decision parameter pk, pk plus 1. If pk is greater than 0, then what will be the next x and y? If pk is less than 0, then what will be the next x and y to be calculated? And similarly, the, we are going for the same and here m is greater than 1. So, now at first let me calculate the m value. So, m is nothing but 45 minus 40 by 43 minus 35. So, in this way you are calculating this one. So, 45 minus 40 by 43 minus 35. If you go on doing it is coming as 0 0.6 and which is less than 1. That means I shall be following the first row of this table of this formula table. So, here at first we are calculating this pk. So, pk has to be calculated using 2 delta y minus delta x and pk plus 1 will be this respective formula. Now, what is about delta x? Delta x is nothing but here it is 8 and delta y is nothing but 5 here. So, here we are calculating this 2 delta x and that is nothing but 16 2 delta y and that is our 10 here. So, at first we are going to calculate the initial decision parameter that is P0. So, to get this P0 it is 2 delta y minus delta x is equal to 2 into 5 that is 10 minus 8 and that is 2 and that is greater than 0. So, here you see if Pk is greater than 0 then the next coordinate will be xk plus 1 and yk plus 1. So, initially we are having this 2 here we are having this 2 and so the next coordinate will be xk plus 1 so that is 36 and yk plus 1 that is about 41. So, now here we are having the respective pk plus 1 the formula here. So, pk plus 1 is equal to pk that is 2 here you know that is the 2 plus 2 into delta y delta y is 5 so 2 into delta y is 10 minus we are having 2 delta x so 2 delta x here is 16 so 16 and here we are having this yk plus 1 minus yk. So, yk here is yk plus 1 here is 41 and yk is 40. So, in this way you have calculated this minus 4. So, minus 4 has come down here. So, now this is our respective xk yk. So, previous xk plus 1 yk plus 1 has become xk yk for this uh, for this uh, iteration number 1 and here we are finding this one that is our minus 4. So, as it is minus 4, so pk is less than 0. So, it will be xk plus 1 and yk here. So, that is why we have gone for this 36 plus 1, but the 41 remain unchanged. Again, we are calculating the next pk plus 1. So, here we are having this pk is equal to minus 4 and here we are having this uh, 2y. So, 2y is 10. So, plus 10 minus 2 delta x. So, 2 delta y was plus 10 and 2 delta x we are having this one as 16. So, minus 16 and here x k y k plus 1 minus y k. So, y k plus 1 minus y k. So, that is 41 minus 41 that is 0 here. So, ultimately we are remaining with this 6. So, 6 is the next pk. In this way you have done the calculations of this pk and pk plus 1. You can pause the video at this particular stage. You can see that how the calculations have been obtained and here you see our terminating coordinate will be 43, 45. So, here you see we have done up to this 43, 45 and these calculations we have done into very details so that you can easily understand that how these next coordinates are getting calculated. So, here we are having the respective points are there and we have plotted this point to draw this straight line using Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Thanks for watching this video.